Hello, and thank you for joining us for this brief demonstration of concordance evolution. Over the course of the next five minutes, we will walk through a tour of concordance evolution and what a reviewer could expect when reviewing a document collection through this online platform. What you're seeing before you currently is the landing page for the reviewer. On the left-hand side, you will see review binders that have been set up by the project manager or your administrator. The project binders will have review sets parsed out based on how you want to tackle the review. And what's nice is that review binders can be surfaced up to different user groups across the review team. So if you have multiple parties accessing the data collection, the various parties can be given permissions to see certain review binders. We're going to go ahead and launch into this first pass review, which has 6,300 records. And you'll notice that there's also a due date for the reviewer so that they know exactly when they need to complete the review. For the reviewer, they will be launched into the global results of this particular review set. So again, the 6,300 records. And there are two different ways to look at these results. There's the snippet view and the table view. The snippet provides a few sentences of, of the record in question. We're on record number one. The table is just your grid format where you can see the metadata and the various fields available to you. Of course, you can change the fields that you're looking at by selecting configure fields. Now, going back to the snippet view, we're going to change our view so we can actually see both the results and the document at the same time using our split view option. You as well have the option to do multiple screens so that you can do a dual monitor review. When I split the review, I'll have my results on one half and a near native rendering of the document on the second half. And then towards the right, I have my tags. I can move my tagging pane to the right or left of my screen depending on how I prefer to review. Now as we scroll through the record, you'll notice that it's advancing the results on the left and you have your image on the right. Now the near native is just that. It's a rendering of your native document. So Evolution is able to support native review and you don't have to tip on the fly to actually mark up your image. Your redlining tools are here at the top so you can select whatever red markup that you need to do, whether it's a general redaction, and then enter in the text that you would like for that redaction as well as the color. We have a find and redact, which is very helpful for redacting sensitive information, social security name, social security numbers or names, and we also have all the other general redlining tools. On the right hand side, you'll notice the tagging pane. Now this can be set up by the project manager or administrator or an end user can set up their own tags on the fly by selecting add a tag. You'll notice we have nested tags that have been set up. We also have tagging folders, so you can set up an issues folder and tag documents based on the issues that they pertain to. And you can set up whatever kind of folder structure you like. Tags can also be hidden from user groups so that if you want to have your own work product on a particular review, you can. And you can also lock tags in Evolution so that they cannot be untagged. Of course, we can also set up hotkeys for your tags. Now moving right along, we're going to run a couple quick searches. When you run a search in Evolution, a dropdown appears. I'm going to put in the word manager. And I'm going to run it with the concept search engine engaged. This is going to bring back hits for not only the word manager, but words that are similar to the word manager, like director and coach. It will highlight the words in the results as well as in the image. Now, if I want to rerun this search, you'll see there's 316 hits. If I want to rerun this search as a literal search, I simply deselect concept search, and I'm able to run that search and just bring back hits for manager. I can very quickly bulk tag these documents if I wanted to by selecting all, and coming over here to my tag and right-clicking. And you'll notice we can tag all the documents in the search, but we can also tag families for all documents in the search. So it's very easy to actually tag both your documents as well as the attachments. I'm going to deselect that, clear all, and show you a couple of other quick things um, that are exciting in Evolution. We're going to clear our search. Another very exciting feature in Evolution is 
the fact that you can review for near duplicates at no additional charge. We have an engine built into Evolution that processes for near duplicates at no additional charge, and it allows the end user to actually look at documents that are similar to one another. <laughs> I'm going to bring up just a single document view here so you can take a look at what this looks like for the particular for this particular record in question, record 11. And when you're looking at the full screen, you've got a near native tab, document data tab, and then near duplicate. The document data is going to be where you are looking at the content of the document, the other fields of metadata, and you can also edit the field, the coding into the database if you need to. Near duplicates is where you'll be able to see documents that are very similar to one another. In this instance, there are 22 documents that are similar to record number 11. You can see that the base document that record 11 is being compared to is here, 6938. There's a couple that are duplicate, and then there's a couple that are 87% similar, some that are 86% similar, and so on. You can see, furthermore, the contextual differences between record 11 and the base document. What's very helpful here is you can see who's been excluded from this email conversation, as well as how the conversation changed, what was stricken from the original and what was added into this particular email. So the near duplicate review is very helpful in Evolution as well. For more detailed demonstration of Evolution, please feel free to reach out to your local LexisNexis representative, and we can set up a much more comprehensive tour of the application. But we want to just give you a quick peek of the application so that you can have a good idea of what to expect when reviewing documents in Evolution. Thank you so much.